it's DJ Clark here at Global Sources Mobile Electronics for China Tech. I have with me here Jason Zhang, who's from, let me just say this again, so it's Shanghai Nine Eagles Electronic, a long name. Yeah. Tell us about the drones that you have and, and what you're doing that is different from other people. Uh, we, uh, we are launching two updated uh, products like the Mola Tourist one and the Mola Fanatic. And uh, this one uh, we aimed for uh, people who like tourist tour, uh, traveling. Okay, so it's like a travel camera, one yeah. that you would take when you're traveling. These are very small drones, all of them, but they look very well produced. They look like they're actually much more finished than some of the other drones that we've seen. Mm -hmm. um, so tell us a little bit about them. What is special about these drones? They have cameras and they seem to have gimbals on them. Yeah. We, and they're very small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We call it, uh, No, it's just a sample and uh, we have our own special features and uh, it aims for the people who like traveling and uh, it uh, four arms can be folded like this so it can be portable for the people who uh, like traveling to take. Sure, it's very small. What, yeah. what is the camera that it has? It has a full HD camera on it? Yeah, full HD. For, uh, for HD with uh, 1018p video and, resolution okay. and uh, 12 megapixel. 12 megapixel stills yeah. and it has a gimbal on it so yeah, I'm, I'm three presuming axes, it's been... Three axes. And GPS? Yeah, GPS positioning. Okay, mm -hmm. so it, it seems like it's a very, it's a small version of like a DJI fan. Yes, yes, so that's over the difference from other suppliers' drones. Okay, and, mm -hmm. and what is the price on one of these? Oh, sorry? What, what is the price? price? Oh, this is just uh, the same and we will uh, launch the new product in, uh, at the end of this month or early next month. And how much will that be? Uh, maybe not available. Not, you're not sure yet? Yeah. And yeah. is this available right now, the, the old product? What, what sort of price range is it in? Do you know? Mm, I guess maybe lower than the DJI's for Ram 3. Okay, so a bit cheaper. You also have another model here, which mm -hmm. is slightly, uh, it's, it's just an older version, is it, of the same thing? This is classic okay. type, and this is the, uh, the tourist uh, type. Tourist type, and it's got a little bit of a kind of uh, a DJI Inspire type uh, modeling on it. Um, <laughs> um, but it looks very nice, it looks very small and very mobile. Yeah, the light is and the small is. That's the our biggest feature. Yeah. And what about this one here? This is just a toy, is it? Yeah. Uh, this one we also have the camera, and we can control the, the drones with the app yeah. in smartphone or tablet. And uh, it had two models. It's a, a tick tick model and a sense model. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, the flying time maybe uh, 12 minutes. About 12 uh, minutes. And the flying yeah. time on this one? Uh, 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. This this one looks really very interesting as a as a potential drone um, for a multimedia journalist. It's very lightweight, um, very small, but it seems to have all the right things that you need with GPS and a mm -hmm. and an HD camera and a gimbal on it. Uh, another uh, point I want to say is uh, when the drone flying and the gimbal will automatically lower and for the capture of the uh, three, uh, 316 degrees uh, view. Oh, wow. You do a whole 360 yeah, degree. Yeah, yeah. So again, similar to the Inspire, where the, where this will, will will lift up a little bit, will it? Yes, yes. Yeah, right, very And uh, when the uh, drones landing, land, when the drone land, and the uh, camera will retract for uh, for for uh, avoid any damage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Looks very 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 interesting. Okay, thank you very much then for, your, you. for your time. That's okay, thank you.